हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल वी आर एम्बार्किंग ऑन अवर जर्नी फ्रॉम लखनऊ टू बेंगलोर गूगल टेल्स इट्स अबाउट 1900 हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स वी हैव प्लान द जर्नी टू बी कवर्ड इन थ्री डेज आई विल टेक यू थ्रू the roads and the routes that we are going to cover so please stay tuned more to come for now have a good morning bye we have left our home at around 7:40 am in the morning it's a pleasant day here in lucknow as of now google tells us that the journey to bangalore will take us around 34 hours of driving time we have planned this journey to be covered in 3 days the weather will be resting today in jabalpur or nagpur is yet to be identified i will try to take some videos of the roads ahead share it on my platform stay tuned thank you so right now we are on the raibareli route this will take us somewhere near to prayagraj and from there we will enter somewhere around riva we will enter madhya pradesh still a long way to go i am traveling with my father on this trip say hi daddy hi so he has been accompanying me wherever i venture outside so when i told him i want to be on this trip he said i will come along with you so together father son duo hope to have some fun let's see so we have just crossed raibareli and we are heading towards prayagraj as of now this is not a multi lane highway this one way each side one has to be really careful on these roads the road as such is okay decently good to drive and we are on our way to pragraj so it's been 2 hours 45 minutes since we have left from home and we have covered around 35 kilometers including a break for 15 20 minutes that means we are doing on average 50 kilometers per hour the roads so far have been good but because of not dedicated one way routes the average speed is little less we are hoping that somewhere sooner we'll catch a national highway and we can increase our average speed we have entered this prayagraj baaki aaj ke show mein bahut sare tips bahut sare gadget ke updates ek specially here what ko unbox kiya hai uske video ke bare mein bhi baat karenge and of course our conversation is going to begin with technical guru ji and god of chaudhary on a very particular just left prayagraj towards riva it took us one hour to negotiate through heavy traffic in prayagraj my conversation is hope that the further way ahead is much more enjoyable to drive so we have reached the up border now entering mp we are on our route towards riva and jabalpur the 
जर्नी हैज बीन गुड सो फार लेट्स होप द ट्रैफिक इन दी रोड इन एम पी इज लिटिल लेसर सो वी हैव स्टॉप्ड हेयर फॉर लंच I have been driving five hours straight. We have covered around 250 kilometers. Most of our time was spent in negotiating traffic in Prayagraj. The roads after we left Prayagraj were have been quite nice. We hope to embark on our journey again after short rests. Quite like this guy welcoming people inside. Funny. That's our ride. The new Jeep Meridian. This car is weak cold. Here is a quick walk around. crossed riva and we are we are on our way to jabalpur now which is around 200 km from here 221 221 km the roads in mp have been really very nice compared to the roads in up we hope to reach riva around 6:30 pm traffic but there are a lot of stray cows on on each on one of the sides of the highways as you can see there will be a lot of cows one has to be a little bit careful it should not be over speeding but barring these small small things the highway has been really nice so far so we have reached outskirts of jabalpur which is around 40 km from here now since it's only 5:15 pm we have inquired in a few tea shops and they have advised us to have our night stay planned in sioni apparently that's also a big town it's around Three hours from this place, and we hope to reach there by 8:30 p.m. Typically, people stay in Jabalpur, but we are going to try and have a stay in Sioni, so that our next day commute to Hyderabad tomorrow is cut short by 150 kilometers, which will give us two more hours to relax. So let's see. We have reached our destination for the night in Sioni. This is Hotel Grand Rajwada. Apparently, it's one of the good hotels here. This is a small town. We will be halting here for the night. The rooms are okay for the town like this. And that's it for today. so we have halted in sioni now this is how much distance we covered today around 675 km in lnrs and 15 minutes with a mileage of 14.6 km per liter 
केयरली ओके गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस दिस इज डे टू ऑफ अवर जर्नी वी आर प्लानिंग टू रीच हैदराबाद टू नाइट इट्स अराउंड सेवन फिफ्टीन ए एम हेयर वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग सून इन अराउंड टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ऑफ टाइम I forgot to inform you that we are taking our new car, the Jeep Meridian, which we purchased is Diwali, all the way from Lucknow to Bangalore. Here is a quick walk around of the car. meter shows that we are at 675 kilometers so i am going to reset my trip b meter to see how do we fare today yesterday we had reset both trip a and trip b when we started from lucknow so both are showing the same but today we are going to leave trip a as it is and we are going to um reset our trip b so that we can check how much distance we traveled and the fuel we consumed and the time we took to reach hyderabad we are back on the highway having yes. left our hotel first and then to hyderabad it shows hyderabad around 609 km from here so let's hope this is a pleasant journey so we are nearby pench jungle natural reserve we are seeing a lot of monkeys on the roads still a national highway there are lots of monkeys and a lot of jungle resorts in this route so if someone wants to have a safari they can explore this area What is this sandwich? So we had asked our hotel person where we stayed overnight to pack in some breakfast for us. Good job, man. He gave us some grilled sandwiches. We have ordered some tea. So let's enjoy our breakfast for now. we are at a petrol bank right now and we are going to check whether this mileage that we are getting is good or not so just to inform you i had done a full tank of pet diesel when we started on journey from lucknow 
and I had driven some five kilometers in the city around Lucknow. And post that we had done some 10.5 liter of refuel. So we are going to see now how much is the mileage. I will give you a quick calculation soon. We are at Reliance Petrol Bank. So we are gonna do a full tank. Let's see how much does our tank consume. Please remember this will be in addition to the 10.5 liters that I had refilled in our journey in Manpi. So let's see. Auto cut? Yes, auto cut only. Thank you. So we consumed around 47 liters of diesel. I told you we had filled some 47 liters of fuel so let's do a calculation now so when I started from Lucknow I had done a tank full and in between in MP I had fueled up around 10.5 liters plus 47 liters fuel filled here in Nagpur with 57.5 the odometer is showing 824 kilometers since our trip from Lucknow in the trip A. So I will add 5-6 kilometers to the city driving which I did in Lucknow after filling off fuel there. So let's suppose it's 830 divided by approximately 157.5. This is equal to a mileage of around 14.43 and our screen is showing us a mileage of around 15 kilometers per liter. So that's a difference of around 0.6 only. I would say that's fairly accurate. So you can expect a real world mileage of around 14.5 to 15 in highway driving for this car, which is pretty good for a almost two ton two ton of car and full full load. Hope you like this part. We are encountering some ghat section here, some hilly areas, traffic has slowed down a lot, you can see a lot of trucks. Must say after Nagpur, the roads have not been nice, even though if it's a national highway, the roads are very uneven, pothole filled. It's surprising to find such roads on national highways. If you, as you can see, there's a lot of patchwork being done on these roads. Almost a uh, good 100 km stretch that I have driven so far. After I have left Nagpur, it's filled with these kind of roads. They are not fun to drive for sure. So hope they guess these get rectified sooner than later. See, you can see there are a lot of patchworks on the roads, a lot of debris. The entire stretch is filled with roads like this. Till now the roads in Madhya Pradesh have been stunning, especially the route from Riva to Jabalpur and Sioni have been amazing. But these roads, I think you can see the condition for yourself. And it's not just this stretch, as I said, it's the past 100 kilometers which has been filled with these kind of shoddy patchwork. We are lucky to find good roads again. Hyderabad is now some 322 kilometers from this point. The route is still very scenic. So we are about to enter Adilabad, 
तेलंगाना स्टेट आई गेस गोइंग टू स्टॉप समेर नियर बाय फॉर लंच एनी टाइम सोन नाउ सॉरी डी ट्वेल्व फोर्टी पी एम अराउंड फाइव आवर्स सिंस वी हैव बीन ड्राइविंग एफ कवर्ड हेल्दी थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स Adilabad 6 km it says Hyderabad 310 km Bangalore 870 okay so the roads here are very nice we are somewhere in Telangana having entered Adilabad i'm still looking for somewhere to have lunch some good place say having done this long trip at the experience of owning this jeep meridian has been very nice so far the car has been coasting like a ship the ride quality is amazing the comfort is paramount small features which do a value addition to me are wireless apple carplay it's an amazing thing to have you can project your maps on the screen without the hassle of having any wires that is number 1 number 2 i like the surround camera system of this car it helps me negotiate through tight spots even when i am moving forward there are many toll booths which have very narrow entry and if you are driving a big car like this you do tend to feel that you might nick your car in some corner so having a surround system camera that to this could surround system camera which is in high definition comes in very handy and overall this car is built like a tank you can feel the heft in the doors you feel yourself cocooned inside there is no better feeling than driving a tank on national highways having said that we are nearing 999 kilometers on our trip so i am nearing 1000 kilometers be a little bit careful here right so it's been almost 16 hours and 25 minutes since we left home driving this car not left home yet it's been long since we left home it's been 16 hours 25 minutes of drive so far and we have covered 1000 kilometers so you can do the mathematics yourself i think the average speed comes around 60 5860 right 999.6 so i'm driving slow here because anyways it's a ghat section looks like so 999.8 1000 I look forward to completing the remainder of the journey with as much comfort as possible Finally found something to eat surprising that not much good options but we have to make do with whatever is available I've been driving around Really dirty. Have to give it a good wash since I reach home in Bangalore. We have around 
80 kilometers of this serene highway to cover over all the roads that we have found have been only national highways thankfully no village roads just that there was some section with shoddy patchwork which resulted in very bouncy and turbulent rides for around 100 kilometers but other than that thankfully the road is nice this is a very scenic route in general trees all around so let's continue we are cruising on nh44 at around 90 km per hour we have been on nh44 from ever since we were on nagpur route the roads have been terrific i am driving relaxed manner because we know that we have to halt in hyderabad itself i am not planning to go any further because tomorrow we can have our journey from hyderabad to bangalore which is around 600 kilometers i hope that will be covered in some 8 hours of time end to end we'll get to see about it tomorrow but as of today we are nearing our destination hyderabad as you can see in front is around 99 kilometers now some patch work is going on or some road work is going on that keeps happening on national highways we have to be mindful of all these things there is occasional traffic everywhere right now i think we are in front of a toll booth it's a different kind of toll booth not a very modern one but it's okay so i think because of the toll booth there is a bit of a jam here Let's see. The journey so far has been pleasant, and since Hyderabad is around 100 kilometers, we hope to touch base there by 6 p.m. I plan to take a break for tea and some snacks sometime soon. Hopefully. somewhere around 4 or 30 pm wherever we find a good place the weather has been pleasant thankfully overall it's been good so far that's it we have stopped here to have some tea some snacks now the road is around 90 km away so folks uh, we stopped here to have some tea but i ended up having a full course meal because the food was very tasty it's a very nice place around 70 km before hyderabad in case you are visiting to give this a try i like the food here next stop will be our hotel in hyderabad so we have reached our destination in hyderabad today we covered 610 kilometers in 9 hour 55 minutes almost at an average of 16.4 kilometers per liter the traffic in hyderabad was very bad It took us one hour to negotiate through it till our hotel. We are doing a total of twelve ninety kilometers since we started from Lucknow. Hey guys, so we have done our reservation in Lemon Tree Suite in Hyderabad, Manjara Hills. We are heading down for some dinner now, and 
you sleep soon after um, driving continuously for two days does take some toll on you so one needs a good night's sleep and rest so we have around 600 odd kilometers to cover tomorrow we hope that the journey to bangalore is stress free and pleasant and that's it for now good night good morning guys this is day 3 of our journey we are going to continue to bangalore today we just finished a good breakfast at lamanthi I'm wearing Manjara Hills in Hyderabad. I'm gonna keep on moving soon. It's around 7:35 a.m. in the morning now. So we'll see when we reach Bangalore. Expected ETA is around 7 p.m. So I am resetting the trip B meter again to check how much do we cover in the day today. trip a stands at 1286 kilometers as of now we have reached hyderabad outer now to cross around 45 minutes to negotiate through the traffic again in the morning we are headed towards bengaluru now i hope no more traffic <laughs> kilometers into our trip today on day 3 and the vehicle is averaging 18.1 kilometers to the liter i would say that is fabulous for a 2 ton tank when i purchased this vehicle i thought anything above 15 is bonus but generating a mileage of 18.1 or 18.2 or whatever for this heavy vehicle in this class of car in this big engine just mind blowing our overall mileage also standard 15.5 right now in around 400 km of trip done so far great work jeep we are crossing krishna river really mind blowing for this class of vehicle please keep it in mind that i am driving with my air conditioning system on throughout my trip we have never switched off the ac even for a second so considering all those aspects this is sincerely something commendable from jeep india have been terrific so far much greenery all the way around bangalore is still around 396 km which is our home in bangalore so the eta starts at 5:30 pm if i were to continue driving straight but of course i'm going to stop for some breaks in between going by how we are driving right now i hope to be home by 7 pm let's see good work 
बहुत चीप सो टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स इन टू अवर जर्नी स्टॉपिंग फॉर अ टी ब्रेक नाउ आई फाउंड दिस राइट नेक्स्ट टू अ टोल बूथ स्टेप आउट लुक सो इट्स एलेवन थर्टी ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग had a refreshment good tea break after driving for 3 hours from hyderabad so it's going good so far we expect to reach bangalore in another 6 hours of driving i would like to share some experiences and some outcomes from driving this far on this journey from lucknow to bangalore so we had started from lucknow from our home if you remember at around 7:40 am 7:45 am from lucknow on a saturday and we were aiming to reach till jabalpur on that day but we ended up reaching till sivani by 8 pm in hindsight i think that was a very good decision because we were able to cover 12 hours of driving which is considered safe and we were able to find a good resting place for the night in sivni our next day targets were to reach hyderabad which was around 620 kilometers from sivni we had commenced our journey from sivni till hyderabad again at 7:30 am in the morning after driving for so long you typically tend to have a very nice sleep both the nights where i've stayed in hotels i have freshened up had some dinner we have crashed immediately by around 10 pm and we got up around 6 am each day what i would have done differently in this trip perhaps was that we chose to stay in hyderabad when we left sony i realized that i could have reached hyderabad outskirts by 6 pm itself we spent a good one hour of time negotiating our way through traffic inside hyderabad city ultimately reaching our hotel around 7 7:15 pm instead we could have continued our journey on the highway driven for 2 and a half more hours and reached karnool instead so on my way from hyderabad till this far i am seeing that there were some hotels in the good hotels in the outskirts near to the highway in sivni itself in i'm sorry in in kurnool itself so we could have stretched our journey from sivni till kurnool itself yesterday and we could have enjoyed longer duration of stay in the hotel or if you still choose to stay in hyderabad please choose a hotel which is near to your highway because there is really not much point in making a booking for a hotel which is one hour into the city from the highway it adds a lot of frustration 
in case you are driving long distances on national highways and then you have to negotiate through city traffic by the end of the night so possibly that is one thing which i can do better i'm not saying my hotel stay was bad in any sense but if there is something i could have planned better was this part where either i could have stayed on the outskirts in hyderabad or i could have driven till kurnool itself yesterday so as to be able to reach bangalore in just 6 hours today but other than that that trip has been terrific thankfully there are a lot of my friends who have wished us well for this trip and i am having the company of my father who said he will be joining me for this long trip we have driven comfortably we have not over over speeded in any part max we could we went was up to 90 95 kmph on empty roads the national highways in india are remarkably nice barring a few odd stretches which are there everywhere the only poor stretch which i actually got was on day 1 when i had to negotiate my way through prayagraj and then a one hour stretch between riva and jabalpur that was equally horrible i think the place was katni where it was very very bad but as soon as we reached jabalpur the roads have been terrific to say the least even yesterday we were 95% on national highway itself nh44 was in parts having lot of potholes which were filled improperly and there were lot of undulations but that stretch lasted for around 60 70 kilometers and then it was smooth again when we started from home we had a different idea for this trip we had not been sure that we will be able to make this trip in 3 days time we we thought we might need 4 days to complete this trip i was having an extra day i am having an extra day tomorrow with me but thankfully i will use it now for resting and recouping but yeah so we thought we will take around 4 days to complete this trip if not if not three but it so happened that we have been able to comfortably complete the trip and the journey in three days time if you have two drivers with you i can say with confidence that you can complete this trip in two days as well what will happen is in that case day one you can reach nagpur directly which is around 150 kilometers from Sioni. So suppose I reach Sioni by 8 p.m. Having started at 7:30 a.m. from my home, one can easily reach up to Nagpur by 10 p.m. And then from Nagpur to Bangalore the next day, two drivers can take their turns. So it's remarkable that for this longer trip, even two, it's it's possible to complete this in 2 days but then this is our very first long journey and we didn't want to risk it plus i was having my elderly father with me he also needs rest so we are very happy how we have paced this trip just that i regret my decision to unknowingly book a hotel inside the hyderabad city <laughs> which was not needed i could have avoided that but then i was not aware exactly where this hotel would be so yeah please when you venture out next time it is always advisable that you choose a hotel somewhere near to the national highway itself or maybe 1 or 2 kilometers in sight at max other than that the trip has been peaceful as you can see the roads are very lovely right now sun is bright 
the weather has been holding up brilliantly we are outside temperature is around 32 degrees centigrade and overall nice clear bright skies extremely pleasant to drive and our ride this jeep meridian has made a lot of difference in our journey of course one fact being it's brand spanking new we purchased this in diwali time it was right when i purchased it it was my dream that i will drive it to bangalore i had purchased this vehicle from lucknow because i wanted to have my parents present with me when i am making this purchase i wanted them to accompany me and of course as it turned out they both were there along with me when we was taking when we were when i was taking the delivery of this vehicle this car has some flaws which i have identified in around a week or 10 days of ownership as in it is overwhelmingly big at times when you are negotiating through tight spots in city traffic but other than that it is just a mile muncher it's a cruise ship on highways you would not feel any discomfort at all it is luxurious it is powerful and on top of that it is frugal as well with fuel efficiency so overall as of now i am very happy with my purchase and fingers crossed i hope it provides me a good ownership experience in time to come let's see what lies ahead very big factory it is i mean unimaginably big area in which this factory is spread very big plant we are somewhere in telangana before bangalore around 100 km from bangalore airport and it is amazingly huge massive awesome might see kia cars there in background mobile company hoti hai we are nearing bengaluru it's just 50 km from this point our home is 71 km we'll be reaching in approximately 2 hours wish to take a tea break somewhere again so as to refresh myself to negotiate through bangalore city traffic today being a being a work day I'm sure it will not be nice to commute through it but we'll have 
have to manage here we see truck driver trying to make a steep turn so so far so good again our destination is nearing and i can't be happier about it Stopped for some tea and refreshments now. It's a tea shop. Just 10 kilometers from Devanhalli, Bangalore Airport. We will not be making any further halts now. After this, we'll have some tea and just take it all the way home. It is me and Meridian. A faithful ride so far. finally reached Bangalore feels too nice to be home all said and done Bangalore is Bangalore for us people who have been living here for long one of the best places to be in feels like home always and relief to be in Bangalore safe and sound the gods were kind enough to help us reach our destination safely thanks to the good wishes of all our friends everyone was so excited and I informed them that I'll be doing this trip. Nice to be home. So Bengaluru is welcoming us with <laughs> heavy traffic as usual. Feels so nice to be home. So the distance from Hyderabad up till now was around 542 kilometers an average fuel consumption of 17.5 kmpl very happy with it and the overall distance that we have covered so far on our big journey has been around 18 30 kilometers at an average of 15.9 kmpl this is the overall mileage for almost three days of travel i have around 20-25 kilometers to go in order to reach home but I guess this is a fair enough estimate of how the car has fared so far must say we are presently surprised with it with the mileage in particular thank you all for staying tuned so far I guess I'll be putting in some final words when I reach home Hey guys, so I am home finally. It has been an exciting three days of travel. I'm very happy to be home. It's about 6.30 pm in the night right now. And I happen to check that I have covered 18.52 kilometers throughout on this journey. I thank you all for staying tuned for so long in case you have been and I look forward to put some more videos based on my experience with my new vehicle in due course of time so till then goodbye and thank you have a pleasant day and a pleasant evening bye